Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we're going to do a tutorial on making a unicorn with a rainbow on the clouds. All right, so like always, I like to start with my eye to give my little creation some life. So we're gonna put the eye about this area here. We're gonna make a circle. Okay. We're going to give an eyelid right off the bat, right there. And then we're going to make the color part and then the pupil part with my little highlight. Then I'm going to color that in. I'd like to add some eyelashes. We're going to put one out here. Like that. Okay. Now, if you think of a horse or a unicorn, any animal, they're made of shapes. So if we have, you can use a pencil if you want to, so you can erase. I'm using a marker so you can see it. Around the head right here is a circle. If you can think of a circle around there. So what I want to do is start here and we're going to come down. But instead of coming all the way around, I'm going to make where the nose comes out and make a little mouth. And then I'm going to come up here, the bottom part of the mouth. And now I can continue my circle up and around to the back part of my head. Okay, so you can kind of pretend there was a circle there. If you come up here now above your eye and you start right here, we're going to make an ear. And I'm going to put the inside of the ear. All right, so you have formed those shapes around your circle. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to add some front hair here. So from here, I'm going to make a curl and you can make the curls the way, any way you want. And then I'm gonna make another one. And this I'm gonna meet up and I'm gonna extend that right there. Now I want to put his horn in or her horn in at this point. So I'm going to put the horn out here. It's just a long triangle. And I'm going to add some curved lines. All right, now I can add a bit more hair. I'm going to put another one here that is actually behind. So you've stopped there, lift it up, continue it down and you've made another curl. And we can also put the other ear that is back there. And there you have part of your unicorn head. I'm going to give a little bit of a nostril here. I'm going to fill that in. Okay. So the next step we want to do is we want to start working on this part here. Now the body is a big oval. Okay. So that's what we're going to be looking at later, but you have to kind of figure where things are going here. So I'm going to come down off this ear and I'm going to come down and make a line like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that to make part of the mane and I'm going to come down and make a nice big curl and I'm going to come back up and like that. All right. So we're going to build up this mane. We're going to do another one here. And I'm going to add another one here that comes into this one. See how it just kind of continues. And then from there, I'm going to do start one here. Comes off the edge and go all the way down. And make a curl there. All right. I'm going to add a couple more right here. So I'm going to do a, a little curl there and a little curl here just to add a bit more to the mane. All right. Now, this is where you could use a pencil if you wanted to, and I'll show you just to get the idea of where you're going here. So your oval of your body is from here. Okay. If you continue around here, you make a nice big oval. 
you can do this. I, like I said, I would have probably just done it in marker first, but I want to show you the shape here. See that? That's the body. Okay. So from there, I'm going to actually put a wing in. So right here, I'm going to attach a line that goes right there and it's going to go up like a curve. And this particular one, I can see a little bit of my body right there. See that? And I'm just going to do a few more of those. And then I'm just going to put some little curved lines here to make it look like it's got different parts to the wing. I think I'll add one more. All right. So now at this point, I can take a look at my body. I can come down here for the neck part. Notice I did not go over that. I can come down here for his uh, little butt. I'm going to stop right there because I want to be able to put in where my legs are. So this is the back part of the leg right here where it's going to start to come out. So he's or she has the leg like this. I'm going to do a little bit of a curve there and I'm going to come up where this is bending in the knee. And I'm going to give it part of the leg there. Okay. Now I can add my second leg behind right here. Do a little bit higher right there. And then I can put my hoof marks in. All right. Now we, I'm still not going to do this yet because I want to do my front leg. So just behind that uh, mark of the mane right there, I'm going to start a, a leg here. You want to make sure this is the same height as this one. And I'm going to come up somewhere in there and put his hoof. Now I can actually do this line. This foot is going to be up. I'm going to start here and bend the leg. And bend the leg back here. All right, looking pretty cute. I think I'd like to put some hearts on his tail. And you can decorate it any way you like to. So we need a nice colorful tail now. Now, actually, before I do that, though, I'm going to erase my pencil lines so that we don't have those in there. Okay, let's do a tail, nice colorful tail. I'm gonna do a nice big one around like this, and you can add as many sections as you want. Make it as long as you want. I'm gonna add section there and a section there and then I'm going to add another one. I think I'd like on this one I think I'd even like to add a couple that are kind of curling out. Like that. All right so the next thing we have he's going to be sitting on a cloud so I'm going to just do some puffy clouds here. A few little ones there. And then I want to do my rainbow. I'm going to turn my page a little bit here because I want to be able to do an arc. So we're going to do a rainbow out of here. And notice I'm going to do smaller here and I'm going to get bigger as I come out. Look 
got one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. All right. Now at the bottom of my rainbow, I'm gonna put some stars. So you can either do them like this, all right? Or if you want, if you don't want the lines in the center, if you make one, two, three, four, a cap like that, add a line there, add a line there, and then your triangles. Okay, there's an easy way to make a star. And a little house, line, line. Okay. So here I have my finished unicorn and I use marker to finish mine. And you can see I've made it all different colors. I've got a white unicorn, but if you notice, I've got some shading, okay, of some blue. So the shading of blue, of white, sorry, is usually blue. And if you notice, if you're coloring yours, you can see where I've put some marker against things to make it look like it's three-dimensional. See right here, I'm against the back leg, against here, around my wing. You can do whatever color you like. I've also shaded around with the marker um, the clouds as well. So it makes it look rather jumping off the page at you. All right, so thank you for watching Blossom or Art. Have fun with this unicorn. I would love to see some of these. You can post them, um, send them to me on Messenger or Instagram at Blossom Row Art uh, or, and um, on Facebook. And so have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.